This is Sean McClure, and I am here with the very talented Julie Kedzie. Julie, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing really well. And, you know, I, I uh, tweeted you that thing on uh, Twitter about that sure dog thread about uh, your kicks and how many people are, are really starting to respect the work that you're putting in. And do you feel like you're evolving, like you've evolved further than you you know were before, say, six months ago? I mean, are you constantly changing? Oh, sure. I mean, you never know the way the tides could go with a with a spread on a forum. But I, mean, I don't know if that's how you can trust your technique or your instinct. But it is, it's nice to get compliments. And I do feel like I have evolved uh, since I first started. How, uh, how often do you talk to Greg? I'm sorry? How often? Well, I work for him. So I talk to him every day. Um, I, when I'm not fighting, I'm in the office working for him. I'm his personal assistant, so I follow him around and find his phone on him. You know, that's interesting because a lot of the other uh, team, you know, owners or school owners, it seems like after a while they just start traveling and they're not there. So it, it sounds like Greg is there all the time. Oh, well, he's on the road with other fighters, too. And sometimes I'm on those business trips with him. Um, but, you know, uh, for the most part, he does travel a lot. But, you know, for the most part, he's in there. Last time we talked, we talked about the UFC and... Now it's happened. There are women in the UFC. I know your heart is with Invicta, but your dreams are also, you know, with the UFC. Have there been any formal talks or anything finalized? I've not heard anything from the UFC regarding me yet. I know that Dana White was happy with my last fight, but it was a loss. So, I, you know, I've not got any formal offers, but I am on medical suspension right now. Uh, I had surgery on my left shoulder after the fight. So I'm just waiting to hear what happens. And my role in addiction is that of commentator. I don't fight for them. So it is possible for me to do both simultaneously, I think. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure if the suspension was up or not. I, I remember uh, when we talked, we had, we had discussed that fight. And, and that, I, you know, honestly, I believe uh, after that fight, Dana made some comments about the quality of the fight and how that sort of, you know, Ronda had changed his perception, but the fight between you and Misha may have been what pushed it over the edge because he made a lot of comments about how legit that fight was and the quality of the athletes there. I mean, it had to be a big boost uh, to you just to know that you're, you're being appreciated for all the hard work you've done. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's an honor as an athlete always to be recognized for, for hard work and the culmination of it being recognized by the guy who runs the biggest organization in the world. But, yeah. So how, how hard is it? Because I know with a shoulder injury or any upper body injury, how hard is it um, for you not to do uh, the typical jiu-jitsu groundwork and stuff like that? Does it bother you? Are you sitting there watching everybody else train and going, man, I want to get out there so bad? No, like you would not believe. <laughs> um, I, I am so frustrated right now. Like all my peers, I feel like they're going to pass me up right now. Um, I just, I want to train. I want to do jiu-jitsu really, really bad right now. And um, a doctor told me I have to wake up at three before I can even get on the mat. Driving me insane. Because, you know, obviously, I need to improve my jiu game. That's where I got caught. So that's where I, like, I want to train the most right now. So it it would seem like... Um, you're oh, God, I do. Hello. What, what better way to learn jiu-jitsu than to train with uh, the best in the world? Hello? Who is this? Uh, this Hello? is uh, somebody who's very special and close to your heart. You cannot do a hijack. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I want some of your private. 
I understand you're 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 the private with a lot of the female fighters. Well, that's that's I I mean, I'm it's not my fault. If people want that, I'm gonna give. Oh, that's incredibly nice. Do you give anything other than your private? I can give also some some alcohol and maybe some H M P music. <laughs> Well, that's, that's a very flattering offer, sir. I, I don't know how to take that. Well, you take it with a grain of salt. And, and you know, the, the thing is, I want you to to, to leave that place um, uh, that you're training with um, uh, Greg Jackson, because I want you to be my assistant now. Oh, you're going to be your assistant now, I see. <laughs> yeah, because, hey, listen to this. You know, hey, Greg Jackson, how many... I'm sorry, can you say that again? How many guys have been training uh, Greg Jackson think you're all for a lobster? <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. I said, after a training, how many times uh, Greg Jackson wants to take you all for a lobster? Oh, God, no. <laughs> he never did that with you. I'm going to oh, do no. that. Oh, are you? Oh, I think. Well, I, I, that I thought you were in a relationship with Ronda Rousey. Uh, don't worry about Honda Alvey and the stuff. I have a, like, uh, understanding with her, but we're not going to okay. talk about that right now. Oh, okay. Well, see, I'm afraid if I fight her someday, you're going to help her um, improve her testosterone before the fight, and then I won't be able to defend her. Uh, I'm never going to do that. I, I'm never going to mix business uh, and pleasure. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of you. I and you know that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I have a kind heart. And you're very lucky that, um, you know, because I was almost had you, 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 you announcing gig for Invicta. I was going to be the, the commentator. Well, I, I can see how you bring a lot of insight and um, compassion you, you to know that. I, but Joe says you're lucky that you have the, the, the job to announce for Invicta because they was going to, at first they was going to have me to do that. You know that? Oh, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know we were competing for that job. I hope I didn't, you know, ruin your chance for you. Uh, you know, that that job, that job, the only reason why they don't have me to that one is because they were afraid that the women was going to be too attractive for me and was going to oh. distract the fighters. You know, but well, I hear that you would raise the testosterone level. Maybe you could go backstage and you could prepare the fighters and it would be even more violent. Maybe they could hire you as, that's not, as a fluffer backstage. You know, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to talk to somebody about that one. Um, you have to do that blood work, though. You have to do it after the pregnancy test. I don't want them to take uh, no, uh, no pregnancy test and also no, no child support. <laughs> well, so I think, I think this is a good idea to share. In my contract, there's going to be no uh, a clause uh, that where I'm going to have you no, no child support. So it don't matter if they have uh, gonna be pregnant or not. That's not my. That's me oh, here nor there because that's not my problem. Well, I think that's a great idea. I I, I think you should definitely go to the big backstage club or anything. I'm gonna try that. Now, now, Julie, Ted, I want you. I want to take you out of that place. Uh, that place, uh, Albuquerque, uh, New Mexico, oh, you because do. you 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 need to be away from that guy. Also, I don't want that guy Kate. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't think he has designs on me. I love Kate. <laughs> yeah, but a, a lot of women love Kate, but I don't want you to. I don't want him to get his, his meat hooks on you because uh, he's gonna ruin all the work. <laughs> you know his mustache is pretty impressive. Can you throw a mustache like that? His, uh, his mustache. Yeah, have a mustache look better than that in the movie he turned of the death knuckle. <laughs> I had one that would look like a mustache and look like Elvin Barge. Really? <laughs> yeah, the one was very attractive. Yeah, you you never saw the movie uh, he turned of the death knuckle? Oh, I have not. I'll have to put it on my Netflix. Well, you can see that one because it's a good, it's a good one. I, I played a star in that one. Yeah, it's, it's you know, the that actor... What was that? Return of the Boost Devil? Oh, fuck out of you. This is not about me. This is about me. <laughs> she was put that Boost Devil against, against your elbow. That's how she broke that one. Because <laughs> it's not, it was more than her stockings. It was also that her vagina was held. Oh, I, I don't know that about her vagina, but uh, I'll do well, um, that. Well, <laughs> 